My name is Steve Santini, the world's most extreme escape artist. Join us now as we travel through the pages of time, taking on the most evil restraints, the most storied pieces of human history, blackest portions of human existence, and we challenge the chains of the past. Ketan Devagangan.
dangerous for you if you choose? Well, know. many of the things that I do are way more dangerous than this. I work in my stage show and I have fire and very dangerous things. This is not will not kill me, but it will hurt. Um, some of the devices we're using are these medieval thumb screws that crush the thumbs. And same on the hands, like it's a vice, they tighten. And heavy iron chains from my neck. So, you know, nobody was supposed to get out of these things. Nobody in history ever did. I think that I've mastered my body and my mind enough to do it, and but it's going to hurt. Um, who knows, I might break a thumb, you know? Okay, and why are you doing this? Well, like I said, it's for the TV show we created called Chains of the Past. But the main reason is, I don't want to be like a fake magician or a fake illusion you see on TV, you know? What I do, I want to really test my abilities and really push myself, really move my art form to the next level, because nobody does this. Okay, and there is no purpose for the history to, to educate some people about... Well, there is a historical purpose to this. The whole TV series, and, and this escape at Chilon, is, is seeing if history, if you were chained in a dungeon in the 16th century or 15th century here at Chilon, if you had rocks on the ground, if you had a wooden bowl, if you had a wooden spoon, if you were really, really smart, really determined, really stubborn, could you use these ordinary objects to escape and change history? So they're really, it, it's all about history, what we're doing. This room here is being used for an armory right now. It's storing medieval weapons and probably some replica weapons like halberds and so forth. But this is actually a dungeon type door. This would have been a cell, Guido. You think so, eh? I think so too. I it's agree. small, it's numbered at the top, and here we've got the locking mechanism, which would you know throw a bolt into this and your feeding hatch, you know? So when you're inside, they didn't have to open the door to send you any sorts of food at all. They just open the hatch and throw in the rotten meat and then close the hatch. This is great. This is original, an original oak door. This is probably, what, 17th century? Earlier. Earlier? 16th, maybe? Yeah, 16th. Ah, this is great. Das Schloss steht auf einer Felseninsel, aus, dem, ähm, aus der wir wissen, dass schon in der Steinzeit Leute gelebt haben. Und äh, ab dem 11. Jahrhundert haben wir hier ein erstes Schloss, das ist der viereckige Turm in der Mitte und der wurde erbaut von den Bischöfen von Sitten. Das richtige Schloss, so wie wir es heute kennen mit der Form, kommt von den Savoyern ab dem 13. Jahrhundert und dann ab 1536 haben hier eine Weile lang die Berner gehaust, bis sie 1798 wieder abgezogen sind. Dann ist aus Chillon ein äh, Gefängnis geworden bis 1896. Here we are this morning in a, a tour bus, a Santini tour bus. It's amazing. You know, it's a gray tour bus, not a black one. And you know, the, but that's cool, you know. We have a three hour drive to Chateau Chillon, Chillon Castle. Woke up at like six o'clock this morning after getting to bed, who knows, late last night. And it's gray today, and it's cold today, and it was rainy today. Holy shit. But you know, I think this is going to be a good day.